welcome to my Japanese apartment tour video. Uh, today I'll be showing you around my apartment. Uh, I don't have a lot of things right now because I just moved in recently, but um, I'll show you what I got so far. Alright, so uh, when you first enter a Japanese apartment, you have the Gankon area. And a Gankon is uh, where you a place to like leave your shoes and you take them off for, before entering the Japanese apartment. Uh, and what you usually do, uh, you just flip them around this way so they're ready for you when you go out. And uh, yep, yeah, so here's the main door, including the Gankon. And on, just on the other side of my front door in Gencon area, I have a shoe rack. So here I just keep all my shoes nice and organized and out of the way. And here we have my Japanese living room. All right, here we have the living room. So we'll start off here. So here's my sofa. Then we got a, I believe it's a 32 inch uh, TV. And then on the left here, we have a lot of closet space. Uh, just on the top there, I just put my suitcases up there. Um, these closets are sliding doors. As you can see, there's a lot of space in here. Still haven't got much in here other than my uh, some Japanese language learning books. And like some chargers for like my watch and my AirPods. And then over here we got the one of the windows and also entrances to the balcony, which I'll show you later. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, yeah, I just have a bunch of cardboard boxes here on the ground. Um, I, these are from like my appliances, like toasters, like microwave and other things like that. And I'm just waiting for the cardboard collection day until I can throw out uh, my cardboard. Welcome to my bedroom. And this is my bedroom. So here is my bed. It's a double size. Uh, the flooring is, I believe, like traditional Japanese flooring. It's called tatami. And it actually smells really good. So if you have a chance, um, definitely, uh, definitely recommend having a whiff of that. <laughs> Anyways, so on the wall here, I have a bunch of hooks. So like I hang my jackets up here, my knapsack, some other jackets, I have some dirty laundry on the ground. And then here's the second window to the balcony. And also I have another door here. I can access the balcony. Um, I'll show you the balcony at the end of the video. So from here, here's the bed again, closet. Got the AC unit in here, the AC control over there, also heat. So here's the closet. So I just, for now, well right now I have the, all my clothes in here. Um, perhaps maybe in the future I'll get like a drawer and I can put in the closet so I can like better organize my other clothes. Shut that. And then yeah, I have more space up here and yeah that's my bedroom all right now I'll show you guys my kitchen area so just for reference here's the front door living room and the bedroom alrighty so we walk in and directly on the left side I have another like 
big closet area. So I just have a bunch of like random stuff in there. Got my calendar. Um, this is like my garbage area because in Japan you gotta organize your garbage and the burnables, non burnables, and like recycle and plastic, etc. Um, right here we got the fridge. You guys can peep the fridge. There you go. There's food in there, drinks. On the top, got the Wi Fi router. Uh, directly on the right side here, we have the washing machine. It's actually a dryer as well, so it's a washer and dryer combo. It's got like the laundry detergent, tissues, toilet paper, etc. Alright, so if we go into the kitchen area, here we just got some of my dishes, like cooking, uh, pan, uh, yeah, glasses, utensils, my like, drying basket area. Then we got the sink here. Starbucks, um, got some like, spices, like, uh, this is olive oil, soy sauce, salt and pepper, garlic, sprinkles, apples, empty milk carton, and got some Ziploc bags up here, Focus, there we go. containers, and we got a El Paso taco kit, the spice mix pretty good, there's some chips, other things, other food items, and we just got some marsa, like ramen, rice, etc. Here we got my little light, turn that on for cooking, now it's nice and bright, it's there. Then yeah, I just have like plastic bags up there, some more storage space. Then we got the gas stove and also the fish grill. However, um, I'm not really keen on using gas, so I don't really use the gas stove to cook. Instead, what I use, I use this. It's an induction heated uh, stove, so it's an electric stove. They're all in Japanese here. And I have my toaster, cook toasting and microwave. All right, now that I'm done with the kitchen area, let's move on to the washroom, shower, and toilet area. So, yep, here's just the kitchen over here. All right. So first off, here's the sink cabinet down here I just have like just all my bathroom stuff and then here's the mirror just typical stuff you would use this turns on this light here actually let me turn this light off turn this it's a bit delayed there we go and here I am turn that off all right, so now let's move on to the shower. It's one of my favorite parts in this apartment. So here we go. So in Japanese apartments, usually the shower area is just one big wet room. So let me just step inside. It's a bit wet still, my feet are wet, my socks. Anyways, so here we go. Ooh, uh, turn on the shower, and here you can set the temperature of the water and the temperature of the water stays consistent throughout your whole shower like it doesn't get cold or anything which is really nice and then this button if you click this it you can fill up the bathtub it'll fill up the tub automatically so you don't have to turn the water off and the water also stays at the same temperature you set it at too so it stays as hot as you want it to be which is really nice all right this is the toilet area all right here we go um, my apartment doesn't have the like fancy, fancy um, Japanese toilets where they clean, uh, cleans your bottom after you go to the washroom. Just the normal Western toilet. However, what I like is when you flush the toilet, you can wash your hands here. So when you flush, water comes out of here, and you wash your hands, and the water uh, goes into the toilet and then fills the bowl. So it reuses the water, which is actually really 
cool idea. I think every toilet around the world should have that. It's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, so here's the toilet room. It's uh, super small. Actually, when I sit on the toilet, my knees are like right up against the wall and my head is against the wall as well. There you go. All right, now the last place uh, I have to show you guys in this apartment is the balcony area, so let's go. Uh, it might be a bit loud out there because of the trains, but hopefully it sounds all right in the video. Here we go, so here is my balcony. It's actually a white egg, I believe, for Japanese standards. Uh, this right here, you can see there's two more over there. You put them across, and what you do, you can t like hang your clothes here. You just get like clothing line, and then you can hang and dry your clothes. Wait, yeah, that's other one. Anyways, um, so over here we have the fire or emergency ladder escape. So if there's an emergency or a fire, you would open it, and then you can escape down below. And yeah, that's about it. So here's the view from my balcony. Uh, I live in Nagoya, Japan, not Tokyo. So Nagoya is like in the middle of Japan in Aichi Prefecture. So that's the view. Uh, this side over here is quite quiet neighborhood. Uh, other, than the, the, other than that, the trains, they go by pretty often. So it can get pretty loud, especially during the night when you're trying to sleep. I'll show the view down here. Left side. Zoom. And yeah, and that is my apartment. Let's see this train. I hope you guys enjoyed my Japanese apartment tour video. Please like and subscribe for more videos about my life here in Japan. See you guys in the next one.